Hey there, David Purdue here from MyNames.com and the Novice to Advanced Marketing System. And I wanted to show you EngageBot. Now this is a really cool little tool that you'll be able to create a lot of uh, visual and video and other kinds of media, uh, depending on which version that you purchase, which, uh, which OTO that you purchase. And I'm gonna go through it really quickly so that you can see exactly what it is, give you a demonstration of how to create quick content with this. I think you're gonna love this. I do already. And I'm really delighted that we've got this because it's really going to help us create, uh, you know, just daily contact information, daily contact um, uh, touch points with our communities and our Facebook and on Instagram and elsewhere. So this is really a nice little thing that you're going to uh, enjoy as we go through this. So let me jump right in. So here's the screen. Here's the, uh, the dashboard. And I've already logged in and I have the highest level. I have logged in, I've purchased and gotten the agency member level and I've up and with uh, the upgrades that go through I got the quiz and the trivia and I also got the custom that is uh, that's upgraded versions but we're going to take a look at the images and the videos right now um, so that we can see what's happening and on this dashboard you're going to see that we have a lot of images already created with quotes. Now you can create with custom you can create your own quotes uh, and your own images and you can place them and use different uh, design methods and all of that but it's really nice to start fast with the automated content so let me just click on the image up here this is the toolbar across the top so this is where you're going to do the work this is the gallery view here <clears throat> excuse me um, and so I'll click on the image a little box pops up and we're going to do um, what are we going to do we're going to do let's do fitness that would be a good niche to get in right so uh weights um training um, athletic um what else would i choose there for fitness uh, fitness i'd choose fitness okay and i'm going to choose 10 quotes so it's going to pull 10 quotes. I can choose fonts. I can leave it as random or I can choose any of these fonts. Now, one thing I don't like about this is it doesn't show you what each of these fonts look like. So you have to do a little trial and error here. And I kind of like the Esteban regular. It's a blocky uh, type uh, font. So and then upload logo. If you want to add your logo, you can see over here that I have logo um, uh, kind of watermarks. And I'm going to do that. And I'm going to put it on, I'm just going to go with our um, color one. So I've got a color logo icon. I've got a um, black and white icon and I've got a, just a white icon. So I can do all of that as well. So I'm going to do just the color. Oh, that's a black. Color is here, RGB. It loads it up. This is another thing that I don't like about this. It doesn't store this logo, so I can't come back to it. So, but it's easy enough to load it up very fast. Okay, so create campaign. Now, let's see what happens. Okay, it's generating the media. And I X out of this. And we'll see that it's got a new image here. And it's, it's creating the images slowly in the background. And as I refresh the page, you're going to see a bunch more come across the top. Yep, these are all exercise fitness type things. And I should have 10 of them. And it's created a couple more. And there's another one. There's nine. And I'm just refreshing the page, and there's all 10. Okay, so if I want to see them, I just click this. Here is my athletic and my dreams, Hugh Bonneville. He's an actor, if you don't know him from Downton Abbey. Uh, it's not about weight, it's about fitness. And one component of being fit is to have relatively low body fat because fat is not. So these are just kind of uh, quotes that fit and you can grab as you're creating on your site. Notice I have my watermark up here with the logo. There as well, the gym. Now, this is a good example of something. You, you, you like this image maybe. And, but the quote up here doesn't make any sense. The quote should be down here, right? Well, you can go back and change it so that you place the quote wherever you want and really build it in the design toolbar here. So you can go ahead and grab that and do whatever you want there. So um, I had set it to random so I could see what it was going to build and where it was going to build it. 
but see that one looks good. Now the thing about automated content like this is that you're not always going to um, see, you're not always going to get everything you want in the first run. So you're going to go through and you're going to get 10 of these. And the reason I do 10 is because you're going to go through and you're going to get 10 of these and you'll probably pick three or four that you want to keep. The other ones you will just want to either redo or you'll want to um, uh, delete um, and just go with the, the ones that you get. So that's images. Now here are videos. So let's do that again with videos. So I'm just going to go to video. I'm going to say fitness again. And I'm going to choose, what was that? Weights. Uh, fitness. Athlete. Okay, and I'm going to do 10 videos. And I'm going to select um, my Esteban. Music track for the videos, I'm going to go with relaxing. You can choose dramatic, upbeat, none. So I'm going to go to relaxing. I'm going to pull the quote and this are the uh, icon for the watermark. This time I'm going to go with white. And now we're going to create the campaign. So this is my white watermark in the background. And it's generating now, it's generating the content. And we'll just go take a look at what we get now. And there's nine, so let's take a look at what we got. Okay, so you get an idea of what we're doing with the videos. Now I can see everything that I've created by clicking on the all. It'll show me videos and images and all of that. So uh, if I now now here's the other thing about this: you can schedule all of these by setting up your um, your social media here in the settings, and and uh, go ahead and then you can you can actually schedule the post. Of these to go out and you'll get the stats on you know how many people viewed it and all that kind of stuff so that's a really good thing to do there now I'm going to show you the upgrade features here too really quickly the trivia I particularly like the trivia and the quiz as well I think these are really awesome so let's just go to the quiz and I'm going to create a quiz so I'm going to look at the quiz and I want to say um, I'm going this is just for engagement right this is not really about teaching people or anything maybe some inspiration those kind of things so let's just do a mix of these and see what we get. So I click on a mix. I'm going to do 10. And I'm going to say, again, I'm going to use my the one I like, which is the Esteban. I'm going to upload my white. The, one, the white um, uh, icon is really the one I like the best. Click to continue. I'm going to put that on. So now I've got a destination URL. So if I want to send to one of my... Um, what do you call it? Uh, lead magnets. I put my destination URL in there and I can actually add a second one as well so that it will rotate and um, optimize you know, additional URLs. So um, let's remove that one. I'm just going to do this one. Click to continue and create campaign. May have them all right here. Okay, so I'm going to click on this. American athlete Eric Vint competed in which sport in 20, 2004 Summer Olympics. So these are just things that when people make a guess, they click on whatever they guess, and it takes them to your lead magnet. Who shoots Alex in the movie Federal Attraction? Where did the brand new Found Glory originate? So these are, remember, these are, um, these are uh, engagement posts. And our curiosity post. And all you're doing is, is getting people to click and go to your site. So, um, let's see. That is the quizzes, and you can do different types of quiz. So, if you remember correctly, I showed you, you can choose 1980s, global, mix, movies, Olympics, pop culture, television. So this is all really cultural type stuff for the quizzes, okay? 
And by the way, BuzzFeed built their entire business on these kind of quizzes. So um, that's, it works. This kind of stuff works. So if we do trivia, trivia is the same. You can just come over and choose the type of trivia facts that you want, fact position, uh, the number, uh, add your logo, and it's just going to give you random trivia things. So I've already generated some here, so let's take a quick look at this. This is, again, post engagement. That's all you're doing is putting up some content that people look at and are, maybe they share, maybe they um, enjoy. Um, you can add your own um, watermark or your logo with your link on, on it down here as well. Um, nine egg yolks have been found in a non-chicken egg. There's a Harley Davidson designed as an exact replica of a hamburger. Um, an average human produces 10,000 gallons of saliva. The average height of an NBA basketball player is six feet seven. These are all just trivia facts. That's all it is. So this is a way to create a lot of content fast to post. And I really like this tool. I think this tool really gives us an opportunity to, to load a lot of content. Now, if you've got a membership site or a, or, um, a marketing site or a um, vegetarian site or a food site or whatever, you create a niche um, and you create the quotes and the, and the kind of content that work with that niche. And then you start delivering that in your social media to drive people to your site. That's the point of the whole thing is to drive people to your site. Now you can download these and schedule them on your own, or you can use the scheduler that's in this system as well. So uh, I think you're going to love this tool. So make sure you take advantage of it. It is EngageBot, and it's going to be here at this price during this launch. And make sure you look at the upgrade so you get the trivia and the quiz as well. So how do you find out about this great tool? Well, you go to nams.ws forward slash EngageBot. There's no E in the middle. It's E-N-G-A-G-B-O-T, Engage Bot. And I'm going to show you, you'll end up at that page um, here, which is Engage Bot. And then you come down. You can click here to get started. and But it'll show you everything that you get with this awesome tool. This is the front end, and you'll want to take a look at the advantages of this tool as well. So make sure you look at it. It's at nams.ws forward slash engagebot. That link will be in the comment below in the description of this video below. So click on that link, and away you go.